the Super Galaxy's unique heavy lift capability has proved invaluable to the US. Originally called the C5, it began service supporting American efforts in Vietnam in 1968. Since then, numerous campaigns have relied on its ability to deliver military and humanitarian assets anywhere in the world. During the first Gulf War alone, the fleet delivered almost a quarter of a million tons of cargo to the front line. And today, the planes are on 24-hour standby, exceeding 4,000 missions every year. How does it feel to fly something that wherever you land, pretty much everybody's glad to see you because whatever you're doing in this, you're always bringing something that somebody needs. I mean, it, it's a good feeling. Um, I've seen passengers cry because they were so thankful that they were able to get on the airplane and go home. Uh, I've taken humanitarian aid to different places after hurricanes or other natural disasters. Those are some of the most rewarding missions. It's remarkable that the US military has kept any super galaxy airworthy. Soon after active service began, all the heavy lifting caused stress cracks. The wings had to be redesigned and the tail heavily reinforced. Eventually, the whole fleet of 52 planes was given a $13 billion upgrade. The planes should be operational until at least 2040. But to ensure that, every Super Galaxy now requires an astonishing amount of TLC. Over a week of maintenance work, for every hour it's in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to interrupt your flight, but I wanted to talk about that maintenance issue for a moment. Like every other machine, the C5 occasionally has to visit the workshop, but just getting it into the workshop is a big, big job. Adam, I'm scared. Am I, is this right? You're doing great. I'm being tailgated! <laughs> Huge cargo plane! Oh my god, I look behind me. <laughs> I looked over my shoulder, I shouldn't have done that. No. <laughs> oh, oh, look at it. Oh, yeah. I'm towing this incredible feat of big engineering to a maintenance hangar called the Isodoc, where over 100 mechanics will start working on roughly 20,000 individual jobs. The outer shell needs to be super strong, but also super light. That makes it vulnerable to fatigue. And Technical Sergeant James Gers wants to show me how they test for it. One of the things we do, we come in here and we, we do a visual inspection and then we do a tap test. So it's all by sound, right? So I hear that pinging, metallic ping. Once you get to hear it, see how it sounds a little dull? Yeah. Right, and that sound, why does that sound different? Because the, the core is disbonded from the outer skin. So that's our damage. That's the technical piece of equipment. It's not yes, a stethoscope sir. or a magic camera, it's just... Not on tap too hard. You don't want to. You don't want to dent this. Criticize my technique. Oh, what could I dent it? No, yeah. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> Funny. So what happens? Uh, moisture can get inside of there, and it can end up disbonding. Okay, I'll catch it within the workshop later. I'll see if I can fix it for you. Perfect. You never know. I might. I hope so. I might. I might. An aircraft this big needs to be light enough to fly, and the secret to that is a lightweight honeycomb sandwiched between outer layers of fiberglass or aluminium. And engineers Jacob Willis and Justin Douglas have agreed to show me what this stuff looks like. Is it strong? Very strong. Here we have samples of it. So you have the aluminum core. Yeah. And then you would bond something as flimsy and light as fiberglass to it. Yeah. And then you end up with a, a rigid, strong but it's product. still light. I mean, that yeah. is, yeah, it's, it's strong as heck, but that's incredibly light. And obviously, although we're talking about a big plane for hauling big loads, if the plane weighs a lot, it can carry less. Yes. And how tough is this? Can oh, we... very, I mean, you could stand on it all day. Well, only, when you, only when you put the skin on it. No, 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 no. Well, like that. Right now, yeah. Right, that weighs nothing. <laughs> that's how much, well, I can't really stand on that because it will, really? Go right ahead. If I ruin it, it's expensive? No. And you haven't put any... Nope. There's no covering on it? Jump on it. Good, but it's only really, really, <laughs> really thin bits of aluminium. It's... Yeah. 
Nothing. This is genius, because every pound off the plane's weight is another pound on the maximum cargo it can lift. <laughs>